Police Department is investigating a recent theft at a local antique store and storage facility. Owners of Firehouse Antiques and Parkway Mini Storage on South Memorial Parkway say a man broke in and stole from their storage units in broad daylight. WAF 48 Savannah Sapp joins us live from Firehouse Antiques. Savannah, the employees say they caught that thief red handed. Yell is the business owners actually say they have video of the man breaking in and stealing. I spoke to employee Jeanette Ware today who says the business owners actually ran out to confront the man as he was uh, in the act, but he ended up running away, but not before they snapped photos of his face and his vehicle. The Huntsville Police Department is asking for your help gathering more information on this man after business owners say he stole some expensive toys from a storage facility in South Huntsville. The owners of Firehouse Antiques and Parkway Mini Storage say two weeks ago they saw him breaking into storage units on their security cameras. Employee Jeanette Ware went with the owners to confront the man. Confronted him and then he realized we knew what he was doing and, um, and he fled from the scene with the go-kart <laughs> attached to the back of his car. Ware says in addition to the stolen go-kart, the man also got away with an electric bicycle. She says staff members were shocked by how brazen the theft was as it happened in broad daylight. Yeah, they just came in and right in the middle of the day, like at 11 o'clock or so when everybody's here, out there I, like nobody's going to notice. Ware says thankfully the owners were able to snap photos of the man and his license plate as he was driving away. She says the business owners and a renter filed police reports. Ware warns other thieves not to target their business or they'll surely be caught. Mm, they'll be caught. I mean with all the security and cameras and everything you're not going to get away with it. Don't try it. Don't try it. Yeah. <laughs> Now, a Huntsville police officer I spoke with says they have no new information on the case, but they are welcoming any tips from the community on the thief's whereabouts. Reporting live in Huntsville, Savannah Sapp, 48 News on your side. A former